there are major issues on the mobile incremental market. Every time I try to find a new good incremental for a mobile, I end up just finding billions and billions of bad ones. The main problem is the fact that the games are marketed towards a very young audience. Let me elaborate. What I have noticed is that the vast majority of the mobile incrementals have really cheerful graphics, but are extremely lacking in gameplay. They also tend to be clones, sometimes shamelessly copying every single mechanic of an existing game and just changing the graphics. Even though these games can be really bad gameplay-wise, they still have good ratings and that pushes them further up to be more visible. The good rating based on my experiences is caused by children rating it highly because of an in-game notification to rate for a bonus and rate highly just because it looks fun or has some trendy thing on it like fidget spinners. This is a major issue because it causes the ratings to be based more on graphics and games that have good mechanics and awesome gameplay but lacks in graphics get pushed down because they don't have any bright colors or a bubbly text. Mobile market is also extremely saturated with cash grabs with a lot of expensive and unnecessary microtransactions. These previously mentioned kids can just borrow their parents' credit card to buy some in-game currency without having to worry about spending their own money. This causes mobile games to be riddled with monetization up to the point where 95% of the games are just reskins of the same game then released again, hoping that the in-app purchases will make it worth their while. Of course developers have to make their living, but pay to win is universally despised and the only reason the model still exists is because the developers of these types of games are catering not to the average player, but to the whales who spend thousands of dollars on the game. The best microtransactions won't be tied too closely with core mechanics of the game and won't affect stuff like offline production. Things like offline production should stay the same with or without paying. In my opinion, the absolute best kinds of microtransactions are those that clearly provide only a cosmetic benefit. The worst of the worst studios create the same game over and over again with just different graphics and name. Notable examples would be most evolution games. One studio had over 50 variants of an evolution game, where the only thing different between them being the graphics. Despite the fact that they were all the same game, all of them were rated over 4.5 stars and had tens or hundreds of thousands or even millions of downloads. I downloaded a couple of them and they were total garbage gameplay wise. Another studio I found had 26 evolution games, operating under the exact same premise of just reskinning the game. They changed the title a bit and changed what was evolving, but most of them were capitalizing on trends such as fidget spinners or using different cute animals such as cats. Many games are alright, but are mostly the same as some other, more established games, with just minor variants here and there. These games are playable, but become really boring as soon as you realize that it's just another copy of adventure capitalist or clicker heroes, bringing nothing new to the table. Usually they consist of just mindless tapping and have names filled with buzzwords like tap, clicker, idol, incremental, tycoon and heroes. They seem to be made by people who want to make money of the genre and not put any of the effort into making a good unique game. I think it's also worth mentioning that there are hidden gems among the vast ocean of trash mobile incrementals, but because of the popularity of bad ones, they are really hard to find. Also, good graphics and good gameplay aren't an either or thing, you can have both. I truly hope that someday mobile game studios and developers creating incrementals would actually focus more on the gameplay than the graphics, and on top of that focus on the game itself instead of on how much money the in-app purchases can make. I also hope that developers would create games because of their love for the genre instead of their love of money.